the fact that this is going to be a legislation and a policy that is going to affect over 12 million people in this country, and no one had bothered to ask what those 12 million people think of the legislation and whether or not they would comply with the requirements in that. The reason why that's important is because if this is a group of people who is not willing to comply with the requirements in the legislation, then we're going to have a piece of public policy that's not going to work. I've got Sergio here to answer your questions, okay? Hang on one second. Five million uh, undocumented males, 3.3 million undocumented females uh, from Latin America. Just because I, I got to read them the Z visa question, I got to read them the undocumented question. If Sandy can do a couple minutes. Yeah, um, I'll, Sandy, do, keep it short. I'll do a minute. Okay, perfect. 60 seconds. Perfect. The other uh, 1.7 are under the age of 18. Let me give you the number so I can call yeah, somebody but what else. I need to know what I need to be prepared for the question. But when it came to the states where they reside, we were right on. When it came to the countries of origin, we were within one point. A lot of these kind of households work two jobs, so it's very difficult to get them. He has questions about weighing. He wants to know about stratification. That's right. There you go. Terrific. Good to talk to you. Well, now you're going to be in 100 newspapers. And I think that one of the big questions about the uh, this immigration bill, is it practical? Is it going to work? Are people going to comply? Are people going to turn themselves in? It's not going to be easy for an undocumented immigrant who makes maybe ten to $15,000 a year to pay $3,000 for head of household and then $2,000 for each dependent that they want to bring along and legalize. Uh, it's not easy for them to submit themselves to criminal background checks, even though I don't think they have anything to hide. And I'm sure it's not easy for them to admit that they've been here illegally, which is another thing they would have to do, um, or to you know, find absolute proof that they actually have a job here. These are all very hard requirements for them to comply with. I had the pleasure of participating in a telephonic news conference with a group called New America Media. It was very impressive. Uh, this is a nationwide association of more than 2,000 ethnic media. New America Media has been conducting polling in multiple languages. And after 15 polls, I am here today with great pride to share with you an historic poll, bringing to you the voice of undocumented immigrants in this country who've been at the center of a political firestorm, but f whose collective voice until now has not been heard. We tested the Z visa uh, that is being considered by the United States Congress that is uh, basically supported by Senator Kennedy, Senator Feinstein, and many others. And we asked the undocumented immigrants, would you be willing to apply for this uh, Z visa, and we told them very specifically what their requirements would be. They would have to be willing to go to a government office, register, admit that they were undocumented, give them all their information. They have, we, were willing to agree to a criminal background check. They would have to prove that they have a work record in the United States, and they would have to pay fines of $3,000 for the head of household and $2,000 for each undocumented dependent. And 83%, 8.5 million of them, uh, as this poll tells us, said that they would. Of course, there's steep fines, there's a lot of requirements, but they are willing to go along. The undocumented immigrants of America are saying, yes, we will comply, and we think it's a good bill for us. Virtually every single poll that I have seen indicates that above 60% of the American people want a path to legalization for the undocumented. This is the only way to get it, and if this bill goes down, because it isn't this or it isn't that. The greater good of the bill will be lost. I don't think that there are, have been truer words spoken than the devil is in the details uh, when it comes to this kind of legislation. Because even though the current legislation does legalize uh, the 12 million undocumented immigrants that are here, a lot of the immigrant advocacy groups believe that it does so in a way that is way too harsh. If they've worked hard, if they play by the rules, if they pay their fines, if they're going to pay their taxes, they can go to the end of the line of those that have been waiting. But at some time in the future, they too can be a part of the American dream because they, like other immigrants, 
want to make a difference and want to contribute something to America. If no one on the left and the right is going to be 100% happy, then it's probably a good piece of legislation, which means that it's right down the middle and it probably does um, you know, the, the key things that it needs to do, but in some of the details the right doesn't like, some of the details the left doesn't like, that's the nature of our politics. Uh, and, and I think that this is a study that has given those pragmatic senators uh, a little bit of ammunition in order to say, look, you know, what we're doing is actually going to help this population. And from a pragmatic standpoint, it's a piece of legislation that's going to work.